Okay, so if from here we can move on to step five. Not really. Not, no, <laughs> we're, we're still... We're yeah, still because the second part of four is to, once you identify the judgments and the beliefs about life and any self-judgments, like the judgment would be, I can't be happy if others are suffering. It's wrong or bad because mm. then it's uncaring. If you care, you suffer along, which, of course, consciously I know <laughs> that's not true, right? And we know that that's not wise because why two people going into depression, that doesn't help. But this part is wired that way. She actually believes that she got it wired that way. She cared. She took on the family pattern. So now it's important to take the inner aspect to see, okay, now that you're patterned this way, now that you um, have identified the beliefs and judgments, go back to the future. See how that influenced the future. I see. I see. So, so, how, so how does that influence the future? It just allowed me to feel more burdened by my mother's condition, my son's situation, things that my friends go through, um, to take on a weight rather than to stay clear in my authentic self that, you know, I can easily do with clients. I know how to move out of my personality into my higher awareness and counsel from that, so I'm not taking on. But somehow in the personal relationships, when there's love involved, it got wired. Mm. She got wired. This part of me mm -hmm. got wired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To yeah. take it on and to be in the same cloud and darkness. Uh -huh. I got you. Okay. Er, er, and now are we ready to move on to? No, not yet. Okay. So now it's the next one. The next part of four to where you have her go back and see what is the truth. Is it true? I'll go back to the earliest time to see if the judgments and beliefs were really oh, are, true. Is it true? Okay. Yeah. Do yeah. I need to fix them? No, it's kind of beyond a baby in the womb mm -hmm. to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. Is that my responsibility? No, it really is their responsibility to deal with their own issues and to resolve them. It's not a one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, two-month-in-the-womb-year-old to fix them, right? So that was a misconception of... Um, feeling responsible and taking on a false sense of responsibility. It's not accurate. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, if I really care about them, I will take it on and feel it too, rather than being happy. Happy is wrong. So that's, she's saying that's not true. My going under the dark cloud and being in there in the dark cloud with them is not transferring light, love, compassion, and positive energy into the situation. It's getting into the hole, too. So she's seeing now with eyes of wisdom, not from the eyes of the little child anymore, mm -hmm. but she's seeing with eyes of wisdom that it is better to stay fully present in my authentic selfhood and then let light stream forth to others and whatever wisdom or caring or even just love and compassion and that is healing but being in the cloud and under the weight of it all is not giving any positive effects so she's seeing like oh okay I don't need to do that because it's not effective okay let's see if there's any others well one thing I want to mention is that normally you allow a lot of time. You allow mm -hmm. an hour and a half or so. Yes. We have time limitations, so actually to get through the next three steps, we have about ten minutes. Okay. So uh, I know that you're such an expert at this that you probably could take us through the next three steps, maybe in a, a little more uh, quickly. They are. The history way. is longer. Mm -hmm. The history is really the the long, and mm -hmm. then getting through the beliefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can say, yeah, we're ready to move on okay. to the number five, which is value. Ask the aspect, what was this pattern and the experiences it created? Imp what was the pattern and the experience it created important for the client? What did, it, what did you want to accomplish? Once you have received a positive answer, ask, do you feel you have accomplished that? So in uh, th three or four minutes. <laughs> she wanted to care. She wanted to feel what it's like to suffer on earth and to care and not just be in some angelic, lofty uh, place where she didn't understand and therefore couldn't help. 
And because she's cared so much, she wanted to find out why they're suffering and a cure. And so it really helped to develop sacred alchemy. It helped compel mm -hmm. me um, on the quest to, to understanding the psyche and what people are dealing with and to bring a cure. And so she is one piece that's been largely instrumental in that because if I hadn't have ever felt it, I wouldn't have cared. Mm. I wouldn't have been able to relate, right? Mm. So that's the value. That's the value. Mm. And she's saying, yeah, I did a good job. She did a good mm. job in giving me that experience that it worked its magic. I developed sacred alchemy. I care. Very compassionate for what people are going through and what the world's undergoing. And all of my work, my books, my music, everything is to help. So, so it's just kind of the, the value of the wound. Yes. This is, this is the, the value of that. And the experience of it. So mm -hmm. instead of looking like uh, coming away from a session, which the earlier counseling theories kind of didn't give this depth, mm -hmm. they gave you a s more surface, and it was valuable. But this shows you on a soul level why it was a good thing. And it always mm. ha is, even if you were an abused wife or you were homeless, like that movie Conversations with God um, with Neil Donald Walsh, it's, it shows you why. So she's like feeling okay. She feels good about it. Okay, wonderful. It's okay. a wrap. It's a, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. She doesn't need to wear the, the weight anymore <laughs> to get the compassion to propel her into her life's work, she's accomplished it. Mm. Step six. This is step six now. This is new purpose. Now that the pattern is complete, ask what the inner aspect's new intention is for the client and have it give a visual image of what that would look like, placing it next to the original image. That's where the magic starts coming in. Yeah, I see. Um, compassionate, caring, empowered, light-filled, uh, powerful, clear, directed, unmoved by the ills of others in the sense of taking on burdens, but yet caring and compassionate and proactive where I can be, and a vessel of healing wherever that's, that wants to happen. Um, the image is like a fairy, angel-type, beautiful, bright, brilliant woman with flowing gown and a uh, wand that has the sparkles flowing. Mm. Beautiful. And did, did you uh, place that next to the original image? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so one has a dark cloud and she's weighted down and the other one is free. <laughs> mm, beautiful. <laughs> Empowered and free. Beautiful. All right, so now we're into the home. Step seven, sacred alchemy. Tell your client, when it is ready, have the inner aspect merge with the new image. Mm. Retaining the positive a aspects while dissolving all that no longer serves. Ask, how will your life be different now that this inner aspect has been healed and transformed? Ask, what action steps, if any, does the inner aspect want you to take to support this session? Well, it's really an amazing feeling energetically as this mud, dark imaging, weighted down woman steps into this freedom and ease and peace. I'm just feeling light all through my being. I'm feeling tingling. I can breathe. I'm breathing deeply. Um, I feel light, light, like a lot of light going through, and like my shoulders are opening up, my breath is opening up, uh, the weight is dissolving, and just feeling a lot of freedom, a lot of peace, empowerment, freedom, and ease, a lot of ease right now. So you're really having that experience in it's, this moment. It's so energetic, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, I can feel it on all levels. I'm just like night and day. So for you, in this moment, we've gone through this process with something that's been there for you today, mm -hmm. and you're feeling in this moment release. You're feeling. I can breathe. 
I can breathe, the weight is gone, the dark cloud is gone, I feel empowered, I feel loving, I feel clear, I feel at peace because I can understand why I did that, why I would take on the weights of others, and that it had a great purpose. Yeah, that's always very in incredible to make that connection. Yeah. And my favorite question of this of the session is this last one of how is life going to be different now that you've been healed and transformed, which mm. you're asking to the aspect. And mm. she's saying um, just a clear brilliance in being able to bring understanding and insights to humanity of all that was gained from my walk and down into the um, darker side of life and really embracing suffering and experiencing it in, energetically through others and through myself just and then finding this tremendous way out and how you can go from misery and burden in like 40 minutes to peace and empowerment so quickly just she's saying a lot of joy in translating that to others holding strong in my selfhood when I encounter people with burdens and not taking it on but just being more like um, like you are right now. You didn't take on my cloud. Mm -hmm. You're the counselor. I'm the mm -hmm. client. Uh, being like that with others when they mm -hmm. share, and just having one more level of um, mastery and attainment in that area. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. So people can contact you mm -hmm. through your website, mm -hmm. www.sacredalchemy.com. They can read more about what you're doing mm -hmm. and also links to everything they need to contact you and, and everything like that. Yes, yes. Okay, so i um, very grateful for the work you're doing. I enjoyed the session that I had with you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for coming on the air here and sharing this with so many people. A lot of people are, I think, going to benefit just from this. Such a joy for me. And I just want to let everyone know that they can download the seven steps mm -hmm. off the website. And um, there's two formats uh, for themselves and how to counsel their loved ones. So I would love people to give it a try. Email me on how you're doing with that. And uh, let's spread this so we shorten the time of misery and we all live in our authentic selves more often. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> wonderful. Thanks. Wonderful. So that's it for this episode of Life on Maui. Have a wonderful time this next couple of weeks, and we'll be back with another episode. And until then, aloha. Crazy, but I'm never giving up my dream.